Hello everyone. Welcome back to this video, uh, video series on programming robot mechanics. So in this video, we are going to set up our virtual environment, which we will be using for our entire project. For the development environment, I'll be using Visual Studio Code and for running the different Python script, I'll be using terminal. You are free to use any programming environment or terminal as you wish. So, okay. So the, the Python version that we are using for this project is Python 3.8.8. So we'll exit this and let's create our virtual environment. And I'm going to name it mechanics. Um, what a virtual environment is, it's actually used to separate different projects. Like when you're working on one project, we require different Python libraries. Like we will be, for instance, requiring NumPy and Pandas. For some other project, we don't require these libraries and we only require, let's say, TensorFlow. Well, that is not going to happen, but we, but for the timing, we'll assume that we only require TensorFlow. So what this virtual environment does is, we can separate these two de uh, dependencies or libraries for different projects. When we want to work on one project, we can activate those dependencies. And when we want to work on another project, we can activate another virtual environment. So that's what it does. And it's a good practice overall to create different uh, virtual environments for different projects. And we have created ours. So let's activate it. And the command is scripts activate. Well, this, uh, this command actually differs for both Ubuntu and Windows. So since we are on Windows, these are more, more or Windows commands. So we are activate, uh, we have activated our virtual environment and the first library that we require is NumPy. NumPy is a computational library that, uh, that efficiently performs matrix multiplications. Now we are going to, for this particular video series, we are going to have a lot of matrix multiplications and a lot of vector multiplications additions. So what NumPy does is it does, it computes them very efficiently. So we do not have to write a very low level code like matrix multiplications and so on. So yes, we are done with this installation. Okay. So, right. And the actual code that we will be starting from the next video. And one thing that I wanted to show us, uh, all our code will be going to this GitHub repository that is robotics mechanics. Uh, the link would be in the description for this uh, repository. What will be present here is the directory structure would be such for each video, we are going to have separate folders. So, uh, that will make it easy to follow as well. We have that. And yeah, one more thing to note that this mechanics folder, this will not be present in the, uh, in the repository, like we said. Uh, in this repository, we are not going to have this uh, folder being pushed. The reason is generally in GitHub repositories, we do not have virtual environments. Like we do not push virtual environments to a GitHub repository. What we do instead is, if I will do this, we do pip freeze. Now what it does is it generates the dependencies or libraries for a particular project that we are currently having. Like for this virtual environment, if we do pip freeze and we have only installed NumPy, so we are only going to have NumPy dependency listed over here. What we do is we will just copy this. Well, for a typical project, we are going to have a lot of libraries. Currently we have only one. So what we now do is we'll create a file called requirements.txt and we are going to paste it. Now this file, this will be present in the GitHub repository. What we have to do to run this repository is when we clone the repository, like I'll just show over here. Like if we want to clone this repository, what we'll do is we'll just copy this link from here. And I'll just uh, do it over here. Git clone this link. So this has uh, cloned the complete project over here. But since we won't be requiring it for now, well, I'll just delete it. Keep it all clear. And once we have installed it, uh, once we have cloned the repository, we can go inside the repository using the CD command. And the next thing in order to create our virtual environment, we can, you can follow the same steps like this virtual env. Once you have created and activated our virtual environment, what you can do is pip install minus r 
requirements.txt. What it will do is all the dependencies that are listed in that requirements.txt file, they'll automatically get installed on your system. So right now it doesn't really look like it's going to benefit a lot since we have a single uh, library. But as the project grows, uh, we are probably going to have a lot of libraries like this. So typing everyone out will, won't be much efficient. So we use this method. So, okay. Yeah, that's it for this video. And in the next video, we're going to start with the code. So see you in the next video.